Hello guys, it's me, Katie. Thanks for tuning in to another studio vlog this week. How are you guys doing today? Are you doing good? Nice. Before we get into the super fun stuff, I'd like to thank this week's sponsor, Skillshare. We love Skillshare here. If you didn't know, Skillshare is an online learning community with tons of classes from anything from illustration to design to photography. It's ad free and classes are broken up into smaller chunks so you can go at your own pace. And you know, we love learning here, okay? I've been really into printmaking and journaling lately and there are tons of great classes on Skillshare. I've been loving Amanda Lee's journaling classes. Also just love her. She has the most beautiful bullet journals. If any of this seems interesting to you, just check out the link in my description. The first thousand subscribers who use the link get a free month of Skillshare, which is pretty cool. So now that, now that we're done with the sponsorship, let's get back into the vlog. Lots of good stuff today in here. And if you're liking my videos, please leave a like or a comment and subscribe if you can. It really helps me. All right, I hope you guys have grabbed a snack because this one is a long one and I will see you in a little bit. Today is exciting because I'm taking a little bit of a break from shop update stuff. I have ordered everything already and I'm waiting for everything to come in. A couple weeks ago I found a printing studio nearby and they offer a bunch of different printmaking classes and today I am going to their inky t-shirt screen printing class so I'm very excited. I have screen printed before like in middle school. I don't remember if you saw my old like Etsy shop, um, but I screen printed these items. Love that. <laughs> but now I'm gonna level up and actually learn and it seems like a really cool studio. So I'm really excited to check it out. I'm gonna try to take you guys along. Like I'm not really sure how much I can film in there and I'm kind of like awkward at filming. We'll see how the vibes are. If I'm able to film in there, you guys will see it in the next clip. If not, you will see me after.
Hello, I just came back from the screen printing class and it was so much fun. And I met so many amazing artists at a second state printing. Um, so first we did our sketches on this like transparent paper. And then we put this onto the screen using this really huge machine and UV light. I have no idea what it's called. And then once it was on the screen, we like washed it down and then we printed them with this squeegee, which is my favorite part. I love using the squeegee. So I made this shirt. It says nothing fishy to see here. And this is the back of the t-shirt. Um, so I made that. Um, I had my grocery cart tote bag and I wanted to see what the design would look like on a tote bag. So I did it right here. Obviously it would be bigger and uh, it's not in the center, but you know, you get the gist. And I didn't wash my screen out all the way. So like some parts of the print didn't come out, which is okay. It was my first time ever screen printing like that. So I'm not too mad about it. I have a bunch of tests on newsprint. I love how this one came out and I did a couple um, ones on paper, which got a little smudged. I really love these fish, I'm obsessed with them. The video was really nice too, so I would love to like go back there and you could do it by the hour. So I might go back there and make some tote bags or just like learn a little bit more. But yeah, that was so fun. I really enjoyed it. And I love making new friends and new artist friends, especially like living in Philadelphia. And then I'll show you guys what I got at Blick Art in Center City. Um, me and my brother went there while my mom was doing her hair and let me tell you, it was such a hassle parking there because one, it was like the St. Patrick's Day bar crawl. So there was like so many people on the street. The parking was ridiculous. And I'm not gonna talk about how much I got charged for parking because I'm literally still mad about it. I'm not gonna lie, this trip to Blick Art kind of hurt my wallet a little bit. I looked online and their prices are cheaper online. So I should I should have just ordered it online, but I got like too giddy like seeing everything in the store. So. Yeah, I should just order it online. I got cadmium red, brilliant green, because I do use this green color a lot. And I got marigold yellow, which is kind of like an orange color. And I don't have an orange. I usually mix my orange, but I thought it would be nice to have an orange. And then I got phalo blue. I picked up three new Posca colors. So I got this light green color, this light pink color, and this light orange color. Um, hopefully I can make some nice color combos with those. And then... The thing that really hurt my wallet, I've been dying to try Whole Bean's acrylic gouache like forever and they had it there so I like got excited and I got me and I got myself a couple colors. So I got six of them. These are the colors I got. Ultramarine Deep, Olive Green, Pale Lime, Vermilion, and Light Yellow. And I decided to get colors that I use like the most often. And obviously I could like mix um the red blue and yellow together um because these were expensive they were like nine dollars a tube and i looked online they were selling it for five dollars a tube so i should have just ordered it online i test these out today i'm really excited to use them and i have a feeling that i'm gonna like them a lot more because i've been running to this problem where i don't wait for my gouache to dry all the way and then it gets the colors get all muddy so i'm excited that these like don't transfer with water um, which is a pro and con of gouache like sometimes I want to do that and sometimes I don't so yeah excited to try These out and if I do you'll see that in the next couple seconds. So that's my little haul
did week 76 or 77 or something of Still Here Still Life using the new whole bean acrylic gouaches and first impressions I really like it like look how vibrant those colors came out like they really popped and I also used the new Posca paint marker colors which I also liked I also used some white Windsor and Newton gouache uh, because I didn't have a white version um, but first impressions I really like it colors are so vibrant like wow like the color the Windsor Newton colors are very vibrant too but with that being like watercolorish gouache if you layer it it does get muddy if there's a little bit of water because the paint layers underneath um, move a little bit but with the acrylic gouache it acts like an acrylic paint so the layers underneath dry completely and then you could layer as much as you want which is really awesome <sighs> really happy about that i was gonna be mad if i didn't like them because they were money <laughs> but i am excited to keep using it and i do think i need to get a white color i'm happy with the colors i chose and yeah that was really fun I've gotten a lot of art done the past two days like did the screen printing class and then um, there were two sketchbook pages that i hated as i started two drawings and then I just didn't like it and then they were just like sitting there in my sketchbook looking so gross for months and I finally painted over them so I did this strawberry page and then I did this landscape and it was so nice painting again I haven't painted in like three weeks and I love painting in my sketchbook this is like my pretty sketchbook like my other ones are gross but this one is the one i like to paint in because a mixed media sketchbook so it holds the paint really well um if anyone's wondering this is the strathmore mixed media paper sketchbook but yeah lots of art getting done and i'm having a really good time painting i want to put this one somewhere no. okay side note whenever i wear this like exact outfit like the red sweater and black sweatpants i feel like that riddle that goes like what's black and white and red all over like it keeps repeating in my head because i'm wearing this um, so i have a timer on right now because i'm boiling eggs but i really wanted to open these packages so we have four minutes and 30 seconds to open these packages so the first one is from apple cheeks and i'm so excited i don't even remember what i got every time someone has a shop update i like blackout and then I buy like whatever oh my god let me out let me shine these are so cute and then I should read more so cute thank you apple cheeks Oh my god, this pin, the apple baby pin. I love it, I love it. Wow, wow, wow. I like this. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know if you I think I've said this before, but I have like a fear of birds like in real life on art like i totally think they're super cute and fun so i got these bird postcards and my dad loves birds like he always sends me pictures of birds whenever he sees them so i'm gonna give these to him um but yeah they feel really nice i love them that is that is my quick haul um wow so beautiful and I have, and I have two minutes until my eggs are done. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, whoa, these look so nice.
Okay, I'm just sorting through the stack of prints. I'm so impressed by the quality of the prints. So on the front, they are glossy and on the back, they are matte and they have my logo on the back and I chose to do like a colored background. And if you guys are wondering, I got these from moo.com. Yeah, I have four different prints in four by six and I'm gonna sort through the five by eight ones. And then I also have four different postcards. We have the sardine one and on the back is matte so you could write on it here, put your stamp here, send it off. And then the postcard set. So that includes the fish the ducks and then the cats. Four by six prints have that pink back and then the five by seven ones have this orange and red back. I'm so happy. We have the fish. Um, we have I love you, so mochi. Um, the, uh, the bunny friends under the willow tree and then of course the tiger print. Um, I've been feeling really happy the past two days. I think it's mostly because of daylight savings and it's especially nice when it's light out because I can film more throughout the day. Like usually when it's dark at 5 p.m. I won't touch the camera just because one the lighting doesn't look that good and I just don't feel like it like when it's dark. It's 6 12 right now and it's still really sunny and I'm feeling really happy really helps me because now I have a little bit more time to film after work and I don't have to worry about like filming before work or something so that's really nice yeah the Sun the vitamin D is just making me happy like yesterday after work I went out to a happy hour I had a really good lemongrass mule and I don't know it was just so nice like and now I could go back on my daily walks like I'm so happy but this past weekend was a good time I did the screen printing class hung out with my family a little bit. Um, I watched Turning Red and it was so cute, guys. I loved it so much. One, it was the most relatable Pixar movie to me. When the aunties came in, I was freaking shook. Like the way they did them was so accurate and so hilarious. The whole movie was so funny. I loved the friendship, the panda was adorable. All their movements were really nice. Like I really liked the art style. And I don't know, I thought it was just a, such a good movie and how it deals with like puberty and periods. So good. I can't believe people are hating on it. Is it even possible to hate it? I don't know. It honestly reminded me so much of how I was when I was 13. I was such a fangirl on Tumblr and I was just so cringy when I was 13. I wish there was a movie like that when I was 13. Like, it would have been really nice to see someone like myself represented like that. But at the same time, I feel like it was nice seeing it at my age of 22 now. Like, I definitely appreciated it more. Um, but yeah, like the whole boy band concept thing was hilarious. So yeah, that was one of the movies I really liked. And I haven't seen Batman yet. I've been waiting to go to the movie theaters, but now that it's nice out, like, I don't want to go out to the movie theaters. Um, I also, the new season of Killing Eve has been out, so I watched the first episode yesterday. Um, I was <laughs> so confused at what was happening. I was so confused on what was going on. I need to rewatch the last episode of the last season. I forgot absolutely everything that happened. I want to start like K-dramas. I've never watched a K-drama in my life, but Mel Smallart is like the K-drama queen and I asked her for like some recommendations. So I'm going to start one of those maybe like when I have time because I've been watching YouTube videos when I do work and stuff, but I feel like I'm running out of YouTube videos to watch. Not that like, I don't know, can you ever even run out of YouTube videos? But yeah, I just need like a story to like get sucked into and get like and get like an emotional connection with the characters like I haven't had a show like that in a while where I was like so invested in all the characters so I need a good k-drama to start so you guys have any show recommendations like please leave them down below I am always looking for new shows that's the last print I have been slacking on my reading lately though. Like I I have been in a little bit of a reading slump the past two weeks. All the 
prints. Okay, now I have to find somewhere to put all these. Um, I got a bunch of these crates from Hay. I think they would be a nice place to put my prints. Um, see, I think I teased this in my last studio vlog, but I've been collecting a bunch of things to do like a little bit of a room makeover. And let me know if you're like this too. Like every couple months, I need like a change. Like whether it's dyeing my hair or like changing around the furniture in my room. Like I just need like some type of drastic change that's not like too drastic. Um, and then I'm good. Like to feel like I'm in a new era or something. That's the next change I'm going to do because my hair has faded by now. It's not red at all anymore. I've been collecting a bunch of stuff for my room. Like I got a new carpet. DIY a couple new furniture items but I've been saving them until I have like time to film them and I want to do them all at the same time rather than doing a little bit here and there so once I find like a clear two days I'm gonna film that video I want to redo these shelves like make this more aesthetically pleasing like this brown I'm not really rocking with the brown so I am going to do those things, but I just need to plan some time to do it. So many things, so many things. Now it's nice out, so I could like spray paint outside now. Perfect! Um, this is definitely temporary for now. For now, this will do. What have you guys, what have you guys been up to? I am like always talking to myself over here. I want to know what you guys are up to. Also, I don't know if I will say this in the beginning of the video or not. The shop update is going to be the first week of April. Um, aiming for April 1st. That's when the last product is going to come in, which is the washi tape. So by April 1st, I should be all set for the shop update. And then you guys could get all the stuff that you've been seeing in the past studio vlogs. Like, I hate that I'm showing you guys them and you're not able to get it right away. I'm sorry. Everything will be up then and then anything that was in my last shop update will still be on sale on my website i still have like a couple of each print like there's really not that many left but yeah i'll just have those up as well